very excited about the future of Africa. I'm very excited about the impact of the future of Africa on the rest of the world, including the United States of America. When I look at what is happening on this continent and the fact that the median age is 19 years old and what that tells us about the growth of opportunity, of innovation, of possibilities, I see in all of that great opportunity, not only for the people of this continent, but the people of the world. And I must say that um, it is of particular importance that um, we are able to continue to work with you as President of Ghana. You have been uh, very courageous and forward in terms of standing for democratic principles, and, um, and we have shared commitments to those ideals. I also am here to discuss a number of issues with you as in furtherance of the conversation we started two years ago that relates to our shared interests in the prosperity and security of Ghana and of this continent. We welcome Ghana's commitment to reforming its economy to deliver sustainable and inclusive growth. We support Ghana's engagement with the IMF and will continue to push for all bilateral creditors to provide meaningful debt reduction for countries that need it, including Ghana. To help address the threats of violent extremism and instability, today I am pleased to announce $100 million in support of Benin, Ghana, Guinea, Cote d'Ivoire, and Togo. Last week, President Joe Biden announced a strategic plan for coastal West Africa as part of the United States strategy to prevent conflict and promote stability. Today, funding and the announcement that I've just made will help implement that plan and will address security, governance, and development issues in the region. That the relationship between the United States and this continent and African leaders is an important one. There is a historical basis for the relationship, not to mention as we look forward, as all governments should, and recognize the unachieved as of yet, opportunities that exist going forward. I don't know, there may be an obsession in America about the Chinese activities on the continent, 
But there's no such obsession here. But China is one of the many countries with whom Ghana is engaged in the world. Your country is one of them. Virtually all the countries of the world are friends of Ghana, and we have relations in varying degrees of intensity with all of them. Uh, our relationship with America is a relationship that has been forged over several decades, right from the time of independence at, up till now. Thank you very much, Mr. President, Madam Vice President. I'm pleased to state that Vice President Harris pledged America's support for this transformative agenda. It is this transformation that will give us the best opportunity to derive maximum benefit from our abundant natural resources, enable us create a firmer foundation for meaningful long-term economic and commercial relations with the United States of America. Thank you very much, Jeff and Kestin, for facilitating the segment. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings down the curtain on the press briefing, and we thank our two leaders for doing justice to various items. There's no doubt that Vice President Harris's visit will indeed inject fresh dynamism to Ghana-US relations. Thank you very much.